The UCLA Bruins are Elite 8 bound for the first time since 2008. This year's iteration doesn't have the star power like those John Wooden championship teams in the 1960s. It's built on resilience, something this team had to showcase to knock off the second seed Alabama Crimson Tide in overtime. There's many times we could have packed it in, but I told them, you know, they've been putting up with me for two years now, trying to beat into them competitive spirit and toughness. Because, you know, when you combine that with talent, you have a chance to have, a, you know, to do great things. And, uh, you know, they, they've, they've allowed me to do it. And you're seeing the results of it right now. Pass it off. Reese. Oh, yeah! Overtime! In Indy! After a buzzer tying three from Alex Reese, the Bruins regrouped. They believed they could win. Jaime Jaquez Jr. was a big reason for that. His 17 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 assists played a huge role in the UCLA victory. That 3-pointer he hit in overtime, he's been dreaming of it his whole life. The, those are definitely shots I practiced at the park. Uh, just imagining, you know, being in March Madness, uh, you know, getting a go-ahead bucket like that. But yeah, my mentality, I was just, I saw the shot clock winding down, and I knew we needed a big shot, so, you know, I just, I just, I just took the shot. For the first time since 2001, there will be three Pac-12 teams in the Elite Eight. The UCLA Bruins don't play like an 11 seed. They exude tremendous confidence, starting from their head coach, Mick Cronin, through all of their players. Standing in the way of UCLA's first Final Four appearance since 2008 is the number one seed, Michigan Wolverines. This is Lucas Weiss reporting remotely on the NCAA Tournament.